Ukraine deserves to have NATO membership, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan said, following talks with Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky said that Russia it was closely watching. Zelensky spent this week visiting NATO countries, courting support ahead of a NATO summit in Lithuania next week, where members are expected to reaffirm that Ukraine will eventually join. Zelensky said he was happy to hear that Turkey supports Ukraine's bid to join during a joint press conference. NATO has an open-door policy, meaning that any country can be invited to join if it expresses an interest as long as it is able to willing to uphold the principles of the alliance's founding treaty. However, under the accession rules, any member state can veto a new country from joining. The United States announced Friday it will provide cluster munitions to Ukraine for the first time as Kiev's forces face tough fighting in their counteroffensive against invading Russian troops. The move drew sharp criticism from rights groups due to the danger unexploded bomblets posed, but Washington said it has received assurance from Kiev that it would minimize risk to civilians, including by not using the munitions in the populated areas. President Joe Biden told CNN that the decision to provide the munitions was very difficult, but that Ukrainian forces were running out of ammunition. A new military aid package announced Friday includes dual-purpose improved conventional munitions, the Pentagon said in a statement referring to cluster bombs.